Right, I'm Richard Taylor and I'm a synthetic organic chemist. So in our group at the University of York, we're particularly interested in natural products with biological applications. I've got an example here. This is a molecular model of a natural product isolated from an organism that lives under the sea. And when it was isolated, it was shown that this compound possessed really useful biological properties. So what we do here at York is we design novel synthetic reactions which enable us to make complicated molecules like this in order to obtain larger quantities for biological testing. And we also make synthetic analogues to see if we can make compounds with improved properties. So when we were looking at the synthesis of this compound, which is called dictyospheric acid, we developed a whole range of new reactions, mainly based on organometallic chemistry, using uh, various elements like lithium, palladium, copper, and so on. So we've just recently completed the synthesis of dictyospheric acid for the first time. And actually, we proved that the structure originally published wasn't quite correct. And so we've now made the correct structure, and we've also made some synthetic analogues, and these are now being tested for their biological activity. This work has just been published in this journal, Angavanta Chemie, and it's attracted a lot of attention from my colleagues in the synthetic chemistry community.